Good morning, good evening, welcome to the BD Drift Breakdown. Today we are going to get into a couple of things I've learned, we learned over the past event. We're going to check out old runs versus new runs, left foot braking, throttle control, you guys know the usual. Um, this event really, really, really helped me. I learned a lot of new things, speed increased, and over the next couple clips you will get to see side by side how I improved and what I need to still work on. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. These videos, as I should say, I'm going to continue to try to get better as a driver, as a drafter, as a rider. So we're gonna get right into the very first run. This first segment, I want to compare the very first well, not the very first. This is actually my last event. So not the f last event, but the event prior to the event of this last one. <laughs> I want to show the comparison comparison between the two runs. It was back to back, two different ways, but I want to show the difference between good throttle control versus bad throttle control. Initiated at a different spot this time. My throttle control was very inconsistent and you could still see me overcorrecting with my steering, which is unbelievable. So I wasn't comfortable with linking completely, so I would slightly straighten up and again, lack of throttle control means more steering correction. In turn, inconsistent runs. This next, you can see I transitioned into like a faint entry, which was super, super beneficial because it set me up to be really consistent around the turn. As you can see, my car is really smooth and I'm just heavy in the throttle and I'm just linking without, with ease. Heavier in the throttle really helps out and you can see how I scrub speed at the right times as well as stay consistent with my steering as well. See, throttle control played a huge factor. For this next segment, I want to go side by side on now versus the previous event. I hope this guy is, doesn't confuse you, but old footage versus new footage. Initiating, as you can see, I have more angle entering the turn, and mid-turn, I'm at maximum angle. On the top, my car is pointing straight. On the bottom, my car is pointing towards the outside. And as soon as I transition my weight, you can see I'm more straight on the bottom. So on the bottom, you can see I didn't throw enough angle to get around the turn. So you will see me make many corrections with my steering wheel. This doesn't set me up for the next turn properly. Approaching the hairpin, I exaggerated the drift much more in the newer footage. The older footage, I was too shallow. My initiation point was too late. As you can see, the top is very smooth. This will set me up a better transition into the bank. I'm, I'm starting to get better at setting up the turns in the future. So thinking two turns, three turns ahead. Next segment, I had a pretty smooth run, but this was my, believe the one of the earlier runs trying to get my bearings with throughout the day so everything felt good grip level felt right air pressure and the tires were perfect but I want to focus on one spot during this spot I ended up holding on to the wheel in the tr during the transition a little too late so you'll see me come around the hairpin and enter the bank and I go to full lock and I hold it just too much and then I lift so it didn't really set me up for the bank properly, but with correct, making those corrections, I ended up not hitting the wall, which was good in a sense. Then I tried something new, which was feign entries. I've never tried this before. It was actually, when it worked, it was perfect, but when it didn't, it was extremely kind of challenging. It was hard to aim your car and shoot in between the gap to be able to get into the right position to be able to get that first turn down. So as you can see, I faint right and then transition left 
and what happened was I should have I lifted way too much and I should have just got on the gas way earlier in this next transition I want to talk about left foot braking so when you transition your car and you are feel that your car is going to not be able to make it around the turn a little left foot brake usually will push your car back as well as stay inconsistent in the throttle and as you can see a little left foot brake pushed my car back with a little bit of I fed the wheel towards the turn and we got through that t corner so for this next clip you can see it was the second session and I swapped tires and started drizzling so I way too much grip in the rear it was understeer was re the realist right here so um, you can kind of see me try to figure out is it understeer is it because it's wet I know it's understeer but is it my rear tires front tires what's the variable I throw it in hard and I can feel my fronts pushing so in a sense my rears have way too much grip I lowered my fronts and it did make it a little better but still wasn't all the way perfect I was still having troubles with my grip or my grip levels in the rear and you can see me go through the second sec section of this track and try to throw it hard and it, in my head I was like if I understeer here I'm gonna go in and make adjustments I went back to the pits and made those adjustments and you can see how big of a difference on having the right grip level in the rear and the front helps so much. Good transitions, little left foot braking again and uh, everything was dialed in. So for this next session, I went back to um, the back track just to have some fun. Um, just I like to conquer the back track because I had the hardest time. As you can see, I lifted way too much. I have no idea what I was doing here. Which set me up in trans for pointing in the wrong direction. I exited the turn way too early. So as you can see, I was about to go off track, but a little left foot brake scooting me backwards and I was able to get around the turn, which was pumped, which I was pumped up about it. Foot brake came in handy, big time this week, or this event, I guess you could say. All right, all right, let's get, let's give you guys just a little bit of a smooth, a smooth uh, run. I appreciate it guys this is kind of like I think one of my better runs I believe this is when I wall tapped if I'm not mistaken but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight how left foot braking helps how having the knowing your car and knowing what's going on and why you're not set up properly and why you're gripping up too much and understanding that and catching it early how that plays a huge role as, well as it'll eliminate variables so if you're having issues you can quickly make adjustments and focus on driving and continue to get better continue to grow as i am and oh no this is not when i waltz out this is one that's probably one of my better runs Guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a holla. Post your questions in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. I'm always on there. I'm always talking to the homies. So go follow me. Because Daddy, everything. BecauseDaddy.com. T-shirts are $15 this week with the promo code DRIFT15. All shirts, $15. DRIFT15. Go check it out, guys. We have some new stuff coming out. Pretty psyched about it. Just finalized it. Finally! Only took me a couple months, but pretty excited. So, holla at your boy, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Hopefully, this is a good way to start the midweek. And as Lena and Monica brush their teeth and try to make as much noise as possible, brushing in my ear, turning the sink on, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, guys. Look at that chin hair. Holla. Holla, holla, holla at your boy son. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear.
Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said I swear I'll take it back